Hello students, hope you are enjoying learning at your home. We started our new chapter that is the cell. In the previous video, we discussed about some historical background of the cell and then shape, sizes and types of the cell. Cell ke shape, size or types ke baare mein hum baat kar chuke hain. Aapko types mein mein bata tha that there are two types of the cells, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Now, in this video, we will study about the prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells, as you all know, that these are the cells which have not well developed nucleus. The, these cells lack a well developed nucleus. In ke under, a developed nucleus present nahi hota. And they do not contain membrane bound organelles also. So, we will talk about prokaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells show very, uh, means they increase in numbers very fast as compared to eukaryotic cells. Prokaryotic cells jo hoti hai, ye bohat jaldi apna number increase karti hai agar hum eukaryotic cells ke saath inhe compare kare to. These cells have different examples like we discussed about bacteria, blue green algae, mycoplasma, PPLOs, etc. PPLOs means pleuro pneumonia like organisms. Here, when we talk about the prokaryotic cells, we take a one example that is bacterial cell because bacterial cell is a good representative of prokaryotic cell. So we talk about the bacterial cells when we discuss about prokaryotic cells. Bacterial cells, the bacteria which are very large in number, they vary in different varieties. Means as a name, ki bacteria ko ek bacteria ho. Bacteria but very la, uh, where, they are, there are very varieties of bacteria are available. Bacteria are many large varieties available hai, and out of these some bacteria are useful for us and some bacteria are harmful for us. We will discuss about the types of bacteria. On the basis of their shapes, there are different types of bacteria. Before going on to the complete structure of prokaryotic cells like in bacterial cells, Pahle hum baat karenge kuch types of bacteria si. On the basis of the types, the bacterial cells can be divided into different groups. Let's see what are their first type of bacterial cells are the cocos bacteria. First type of bacterial cell are cocos bacteria. The word cocos means berry. These are the bacteria which are oval or spherical shaped. इनकी जो शेप होती है वो ओवल शेप होती है स्फेरिकल शेप बैक्टीरिया होते हैं इस तरीके के बैक्टीरिया व्हिच हैव ओवाइड और स्फेरिकल शेप दे आर नोन एज कोकस बैक्टीरिया सो हियर वी कैन राइट दिस है दे दीस आर स्फेरिकल और ओवाइड इन शेप दीस बैक्टीरियास आर they can present in the group. Ye single nahi rahate. They can make a group. Different bacteria. The main this type of focus bacteria. Many bacteria combine together and they make a group. And they always find in the group. If the bacteria find singly, then it is known as monococcus. If the cocos bacteria is find singly, then we call it monococcus. Monococcus. And when these bacteria group together and they are found in two, two focus bacteria group together. Then this condition is known as diplococcus. We are discussing different types of bacteria, how they are present. These are the cocos bacteria which are spherical or ovoid in shape. When these cocos bacteria present singly, then we call them monococcus. When cocos bacteria, two cocos bacteria combine together, then they are known as diplococcus. Then, next condition that we will discuss here is if these cocos bacteria are present in a shape, in a chain like manner, means many cocos bacteria combine together and they form a chain like structure. If this chain is present, then these cocos bacteria are known as streptococcus. Streptococcus. And here we have one more variety about this. If these cocos bacteria group one over another, agar ek ke upar ek agar group banate hue, is tarikhe se bunch ki form mein present rahate hain, then this condition is known as staphylococcus. These are the some different groups of the cocos bacteria. If they present singly, then call it monococcus. 
If two cocos bacteria combine together, then we call them diplococcus. When cocos bacteria present in a chain-like manner, then we call them streptococcus. Or agar cocos bacteria ek group banate hain, they arrange one or over another, then this condition is known as. Then we call these bacteria as streptococcus. Second type of bacteria on the basis of the shape is bacillus bacteria. With the bacteria have many different types of the shape, we are just taking here the four important examples, four important types of bacterial cells. Second is the bacillus. Bacillus means road shaped bacteria. These type of bacteria have road shaped like road like structure that are straight road like structures. This kind of structures is found in the case of bacillus bacteria. In the bacillus bacteria, again, we call them that if bacillus bacteria are found two in a manner, if two bacillus bacteria are combined together, then we call them diplo bacillus. The word diplo means two. So here, when two bacillus bacteria combine together, we call them diplo bacillus. Diplo bacillus. And when bacillus bacteria are uh, grouped one over another in a stock like manner means they form a such kind of structure that one bacteria then another bacillus bacteria another bacillus bacteria they are arranged one over another it's not a group it's a stock like structure that they are arranging one over another this kind of conditions is known as palisade these are palisade bacillus or palisade structure we can say bacillus and when bacillus bacteria are found in a chain manner like streptococcus, then we can call them streptobacillus. So here is the one bacillus bacteria. Here we have one more bacillus bacteria, one more bacillus bacteria. If they are arranged in a chain like manner, then we call them streptobacillus. Streptobacillus. So here we discuss two different types of bacteria, cocos bacteria, bacteria and bacillus bacteria. Here we have some more examples also. Third type of bacteria on the basis of their shapes, the bacteria are known as spirulum. Or spiral shaped bacteria. These are spiral shaped bacteria. If the bacteria have the shape like spiral shaped then these type of bacteria are known as spirulum shape of these type of bacteria are like in this manner they are spiral shaped bacteria and at what one end they have flagellas also which help them to movement so these bacteria which are which have spiral shape then they will call as spirulum bacteria or they are Coil shape also, we can call them coiled. So these are coiled bacteria, coiled bacteria, and these are spirulum bacteria. These type of bacteria do not present in the form of aggregates, means like these bacteria, cocos and bacillus, which bacteria found in the groups. Just you know, in bacteria, in bacillus or cocos bacteria, so group banate, ye groups may present right there. But spirulum bacteria, they do not form aggregate, they do not form groups, they live singly. So, spirulums are the spiral bacteria or coil bacteria or corkscrew bacteria. We can call them corkscrew bacteria also. So, these are the bacteria, they live singly. Fourth category of the bacteria which we have here is on the basis of their shape are the vibrio bacteria. Vibrio bacteria. Vibrio bacteria are the coma shaped bacteria. They have coma shaped structure. How we can represent the coma shaped structure? Let's see. Kaise aap represent karenge coma shaped structure ko? Like this kind of structure. It's curved at one end. Or you can draw in this manner also. These type of bacteria are known as co vibrio bacteria. Vibrio means coma shaped. So they have coma shaped structure. It's very important. That they have coma shaped structures and these type of bacteria are known as vibrio bacteria. These bacteria also do not form any groups, they also live singly. So here we discussed four types of bacteria. First, focus bacteria, 
Second, we discuss the bacillus bacteria, then spirillum bacteria, which have spiral shape. And fourth one we discuss here are the vibrio bacteria. And these are the names of the bacteria according to their groups. If coccus bacteria found singly, then we call them monococcus. When two are present, then they are called as diplococcus. When they form a chain, then they are called as streptococcus. When they are present, a group, a bunch like structure, the many coccus bacteria are combined together, then they are known as staphylococcus. Similar, we represent bacillus bacteria, rod shaped bacteria, and then we discuss about spirulum and vibrio bacteria. So these are about the type of the bacteria, bacteria on the basis of their different shapes. Now, in the next video, we will discuss about the structure of prokaryotic cell and that will be the bacterial cell structure. We we'll discuss all the component of the bacterial cells one by one. So keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.